the ocean floor trembles, not from an earthquake, from something far more deliberate. 700 feet beneath the South China Sea, the USS Arizona cuts through the darkness like a predator born for this domain. Her Virginia payload module houses 28 Tomahawk cruise missiles, each one capable of reaching targets 1,000 miles away. Above her, Chinese naval formations patrol in blissful ignorance, their sonar pinging uselessly off thermal layers and underwater terrain. The submarine's reactor hums with the contained power of a small city. Her S9G nuclear plant will run for 33 years without refueling, longer than most sailors' entire careers. In the control room, displays show not just the immediate tactical picture, but the strategic weight of this moment. A single Virginia-class submarine carrying more precision strike capability than entire World War II fleets. This isn't just advanced technology. This is America's answer to the question that keeps Pentagon planners awake at night. How do you maintain undersea superiority when near-peer competitors are building submarines faster than ever before? 1432 hours, General Dynamics Electric Boat Shipyard, Groton, Connecticut. The Virginia-class submarine program represents more than naval engineering. It's a $170 billion commitment to maintaining undersea dominance in an era when that dominance can no longer be taken for granted. China's submarine fleet has tripled in size over the past decade. Russia's new Severodvinsk-class boats represent a quantum leap in stealth and lethality. Meanwhile, America's Los Angeles-class submarines, workhorses of the Cold War, are aging out faster than their replacements can be built. This capability gap isn't just about numbers, it's about the foundation of American maritime strategy. Submarines don't just sink ships, they gather intelligence, insert special forces, and serve as the ultimate deterrent against surface fleets that might otherwise challenge American allies lose undersea superiority, and the entire architecture of Pacific security starts to crumble. The strategic mathematics are stark. The US Navy projects its attack submarine inventory will drop to a critical low in the late 2020s as Los Angeles-class boats retire faster than Virginia-class submarines enter service. This submarine valley coincides exactly with China's peak submarine expansion and Russia's modernization of its northern and Pacific fleets. The Virginia-class program was designed to prevent exactly that scenario. But building the world's most advanced submarines means navigating an industrial challenge as complex as the tactical one. How do you manufacture technological superiority when each boat requires components from over 4,000 suppliers across all 50 states? The Virginia-class submarine is what happens when 30 years of lessons learned meet unlimited engineering ambition. At 377 feet long and displacing 7,900 tons submerged, these boats represent the cutting edge of stealth technology. Their anechoic hull coatings absorb sonar waves like a whisper in a cathedral, while Russia's Severodvinsk-class submarines excel at hunting carrier groups and China's Type 0 93 boats struggle with 1980s-era noise levels. Virginia-class submarines were built to excel at everything. Anti-submarine warfare with sonar that detects targets hundreds of miles away. Land attack with 40 Tomahawk missiles. Special operations with dry deck shelters for SEAL teams. The technological comparison isn't even close. A Virginia-class submarine carries 12 times the computing power of a Los Angeles-class boat in a package that's somehow quieter than submarines half its size. The acoustic signature of a Virginia-class submarine at flank speed is lower than a Los Angeles-class boat sitting dead in the water. Consider the reactor technology alone. The S9G reactor core uses highly enriched uranium that will last the submarine's entire 33-year service life without refueling. Russian submarines require reactor refueling every decade. Chinese submarines use less efficient designs that limit operational range. American submarines can deploy anywhere and remain on station indefinitely. The story begins in the late 1990s, when defense contractors faced an uncomfortable reality. Build better submarines with fewer resources, or watch America's undersea advantage evaporate. General Dynamics Electric Boat and Newport News Shipbuilding developed an unprecedented partnership. 
sharing construction of every submarine, Electric Boat builds reactor compartments, while Newport News constructs bow sections and stern assemblies. This wasn't just cooperation, it was strategic insurance, maintaining two nuclear-capable shipyards while keeping specialized workforces engaged. Block 5 changed everything. The Virginia payload module, an 84-foot hull insert with four additional launch tubes holding 28 tomahawks, transformed these boats into floating arsenals. The engineering challenges were staggering. Adding 84 feet while maintaining structural integrity required completely redesigning hull stress distribution. The additional weight needed careful balancing to preserve diving characteristics. BAE Systems manufactured the launch tubes in the United Kingdom, while Lockheed Martin developed combat system integration. The result? A submarine that can strike 40 targets simultaneously across a theater larger than the continental United States. Picture this operational scenario. A Virginia-class submarine receives targeting data from satellites, surface ships, and friendly aircraft. The boat's combat system processes thousands of potential targets, building the tactical picture layer by layer. At 0430 hours, the first Tomahawk missile launches from 150 feet below the surface. The missile breaks the surface 200 miles from the nearest enemy vessel, its turbofan engine igniting as GPS guidance takes control. 39 more missiles follow in precise sequence, each programmed with different routes and timing to arrive at targets within the same 60-second window. The enemy's first indication comes when their primary radar station disappears in a cloud of debris and flame. Secondary explosions ripple across the horizon as fuel depots, ammunition storage, and communication centers cease to exist. The submarine that launched this devastating barrage remains undetected, already moving to its next patrol area. But Virginia-class submarines don't just deliver overwhelming firepower. They gather the intelligence that makes precise targeting possible. Photonic masts capture high-resolution imagery, while signals intelligence equipment intercepts communications. Unmanned underwater vehicles deploy from torpedo tubes to place sensors on submarine cables or map ocean floor installations. This intelligence flows to fleet commanders within minutes, providing real-time situational awareness that turns tactical engagements into strategic victories. The escalation comes when enemy forces attempt to hunt the submarine responsible for the devastation. Anti-submarine aircraft converge on the launch area, dropping sonoboys in search patterns. Enemy submarines race toward the contact zone, their active sonar sweeps betraying their own positions. They're hunting a ghost. The Virginia-class submarine's anechoic coatings and sound-dampening systems render it effectively invisible to the very sensors designed to find submarines. Her pump jet propulsor operates so quietly that marine life shows no alarm. Even her nuclear reactor operates in natural circulation mode, eliminating coolant pump noise. The submarine's hull shape incorporates decades of research into acoustic stealth. Every surface curve reduces drag, minimizes noise, and deflects sonar waves away from their sources. Special materials absorb sound energy rather than reflecting it, making the submarine appear smaller than a fishing boat on enemy sonar displays. The enemy's active sonar sweeps pass harmlessly over the submarine's hull, sound waves absorbed rather than reflected. Passive sonar operators strain to detect any mechanical noise. The whisper of hydraulics, the vibration of machinery. They hear nothing but ambient ocean sounds, whale songs, thermal currents, distant surface shipping. Meanwhile, the Virginia-class submarine sensors track every enemy vessel, aircraft, and sonoboy deployment. Her crew watches the futile search unfold on their displays, cataloging acoustic signatures for future reference. The hunt ends when enemy forces, low on fuel and out of search areas, abandon their mission in frustration. The aftermath reveals the true scope of American undersea superiority. Forty precision strikes executed without warning have crippled enemy operations across a thousand-mile front. Most importantly, a submarine force that remains undetected demonstrates that no enemy movement is safe from observation and attack. Enemy naval commanders realize they're not fighting a single submarine. They're fighting an entire capability they cannot match, detect, or counter. Surface fleets become cautious. Resources get diverted to defensive measures that may not work against Virginia-class capabilities. 
this is how undersea dominance translates into strategic advantage. Not through dramatic battles, but through the quiet certainty that American submarines own the ocean depths. Behind this technological supremacy stands an industrial achievement as impressive as the submarines themselves. Building a Virginia-class submarine requires 4,000 companies across all 50 states. Welders in Connecticut shape hull sections from HY-80 steel. Electronics technicians in California install combat systems. Machinists in Pennsylvania craft precision components for crushing ocean pressure. Electric Boat employs 17,000 people directly, with tens of thousands more working for suppliers. Newport News adds another 25,000 workers. A single submarine welder must complete three years of training before working on reactor compartments. Combat system technicians require security clearances and specialized knowledge that takes months to obtain. The supply chain extends to small businesses nationwide. Precision valves from Ohio, specialized electronics from Texas, acoustic materials from North Carolina. Many companies work exclusively on defense contracts maintaining capabilities that exist nowhere else in the world. The AUKUS partnership transforms potential constraints into strategic opportunities. Australia's $3 billion investment in American submarine production helps fund industrial expansion, while British involvement leverages allied expertise. Australian sailors already train alongside American crews, creating shared operational culture. Training the workforce requires partnerships between shipyards, technical colleges, and trade unions spanning decades. Apprenticeship programs transform high school graduates into master craftsmen over four-year cycles. Nuclear-trained personnel undergo some of the most demanding technical education in the world, learning reactor theory and radiation safety to standards exceeding most university programs. Virginia-class submarines carry crews of approximately 135 officers and enlisted personnel, each trained to operate the most sophisticated weapon systems ever deployed. The submarine force culture emphasizes individual responsibility and collective excellence that land-based units cannot match. When submerged, crews are isolated from outside assistance for months. This culture produces innovations that improve submarine capabilities beyond design specifications. Crew members suggest modifications based on operational experience. Many improvements originate from enlisted sailors who noticed problems and developed solutions that engineers adopted fleet-wide. Every Virginia-class submarine represents mobile sovereign territory, capable of projecting American power anywhere without requiring host nation support. Near-peer competitors structure their naval strategies around countering American submarine advantages. China focuses heavily on anti-submarine warfare capabilities. Russia develops new submarines intended to match Virginia-class performance. Yet the more they spend trying to counter American submarines, the less they can invest in offensive capabilities. The Virginia-class program forces potential adversaries to allocate scarce resources to defensive measures rather than power projection. This defensive investment creates strategic stability through deterrence. Nations that might challenge American interests recognize that Virginia-class submarines make such challenges prohibitively expensive and unlikely to succeed. Virginia-class submarines represent American values as much as capabilities. Their precision weapons minimize collateral damage through targeting accuracy impossible in previous warfare generations. Their intelligence gathering provides decision-makers with accurate information rather than assumptions, enabling measured responses based on actual threats. Most importantly, their presence often prevents conflicts that might escalate into larger wars. Potential aggressors recognize that actions taken in view of Virginia-class submarines will be observed and reported accurately, creating accountability that encourages diplomatic solutions. The Virginia-class submarine program demonstrates what democratic nations can accomplish when they commit resources and political will to maintaining security that makes freedom possible. These submarines patrol as silent guardians of a world order, depending on American strength and allied cooperation. Looking ahead, the program faces challenges testing American resolve. Production delays create backlogs straining delivery schedules. Cost increases threaten sustainability. Workforce shortages limit production rates, 
when geopolitical competition demands increased submarine numbers. Yet these challenges reveal American resilience. Congress responds with increased funding for industrial base expansion. Shipyards invest in new facilities and training programs. Suppliers develop redundant production capabilities, strengthening the entire defense ecosystem. The Virginia class program represents more than submarines. It represents American determination to maintain technological and industrial advantages that preserve freedom in an increasingly dangerous world. If you were designing the next generation of American submarines, would you prioritize stealth capabilities, offensive firepower, or operational endurance? Let me know your thoughts below. This is DIB Dispatch, where billion-dollar projects meet battlefield reality and the future of American defense takes shape in the workshops and shipyards that most people never see.